going to bring my no sock friend. Shaken together and running over 
will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you see, that you use, it will be measured back to you. Amen. You may be seated. I want to talk about things you ought to know about giving. Amen. Amen. Things you ought to know. And I realize that uh, there are some seasoned saints uh, in here, but I want to talk to the young people. The easy Bible version says, think about how you give to other people. God will return your giving in the same manner. The NIV says, it will be poured into your lap. For with the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. NLT, the amount you give will determine the amount you get back. And one version says, with the same standard you use, it will be used to pay you back. Don't take that baby nowhere. Just let that baby have a good concert. We'll be in good harmony. Leave that baby right there. There. Right there. Amen. Amen. I, I want to remind some folk, inform others. But young people, I want to let you know that these are the things you ought to know. We have missed the mark. Pastors. Preachers, teachers, Sunday school teachers, Bible study teachers, vacation. We have missed the mark. Every study there is, we've missed it. And training up, I, well, I'm talking about where I go. I ain't talking about right here. Somebody say amen. I'm just talking about where I go. But we have missed the mark. We, we've missed the mark, Regina. We've missed the mark. We've missed the mark in allowing our young people to know about giving. I'm encouraged by this scripture because it is a universal law. And it, this is just stuff you ought to know, young people. It is not only a Christian or spiritual principle, but it is universal. Our world operates by basic universal laws. There is a law of gravity, Stella, that says what goes up must come down. This works whether you are a young person or an elder, a sinner or a saint, whether you're good or bad, whether you are at the top of a skyscraper and someone pushes you or you jump, the fact is, you're going to hit the ground. That's a universal, that's universal. That works for everybody. And God has placed before us, things you ought to know about giving through universal law. Sowing and reaping is universal. That's a universal law. What I'm saying is, it don't matter whether you are a Christian or not, if you plant dope in the ground, dope is what's coming up. That's universal. Whatever you plant, that's what you're going to get back. I know, I know pastor got some laws for 
Cajun children in, but I ain't got nothing. Another universal law is everything produces after its kind. Dogs don't produce cats. People produce people. If you produce patience, that's what you're going to get back. If you produce hatred, hatred is what you're going to get back. If you produce love, love is what you're going to get back. Press down, shake it together, run it over. Whatever you see, this former president giving off, it will return in the same manner. His lies, his disrespect to others, his mean spiritedness, spiritedness, his divisiveness. It will return. We may not see it in our time, but he will, along with his cronies, just as he put it out, it will return to him. Press down, shake it together, and run it over. Pour it in his lap. Whatever it is, if a man and a woman want, Whatever it is they want. If they want to receive something, Jesus says, first, you've got to give it, Brother Brown. We have to keep in mind that God operates the universe through people. The text says, shall men give. God will not come down, pop you on the head, and place money in your pocket. He touches the hearts of men, Kendall. And that's why you have to be careful how you treat people, young people. Because it will be people that God encourages to bless you. Amen. You, you, you got to be careful how you treat your parents. Amen. You, you got to be careful how you treat your baby sister. Yeah. You, you got to be careful how you treat your neighbor. Yeah. There are many laws that God, that governs and operates this universe. And you can't change them. You may get high and mighty and think you can. Jump off a building, but you will hit the ground. Here's another law, universal law. You have, uh, you, all, you always will reap what you sow. Later, for the most part, and you will always reap more than what you sow. In fact, the text gives us a description of what you will reap. It will be good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. And the Bible says men will give it back to us. Kind of dangerous, Sister Rhonda be trusted men. Just think if we had to depend on our former president and the party, the mega, mega party, or whatever, uh, to return anything to us. They have stony hearts, wicked spirits. It's dangerous. Stay with me, young people, don't, don't go to sleep. First of all, it works for saints and sinners. In the book of 1 Kings 17, when Elijah is in Zarephath, and Zarephath was the hometown of Jezebel, the widow here didn't believe in God. 
But the prophet asked her to make him a little cake. Just a little investment. Make me a cake first. She was not a believer, but she believed what he said. Believed what he said. The Bible says, as a result of her planting that seed, she received three years and six months. She didn't have to buy groceries. Somebody say amen. She was not a believer. But uh, check out her reward. Check out the payment plan for being kind, for being nice. We got to figure out God's plan and follow it to the team. I'm, I'm talking to young people. I'm looking at y'all, but I'm talking to y'all. <laughs> that, 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 that. This lady ain't had to buy no groceries for her family for three years, six months. There was a, another story about Rahab, the harlot, the prostitute. You know she is the lady. Who's, who's whose house was on the wall, who, who was a Canaanite, who didn't believe in the Lord, but she gave shelter to the men of God. And as a result, when they came to destroy the city, when they came to destroy uh, the city, guess what? They gave shelter to the prostitute, yeah. Rahab and her house. Yeah. This is what uh, you need to know about the laws of sowing and reaping. Though, though, though we have shown our responsibilities as men of God, women of God, young people, you've got to get into that word and find out for yourself what God has to say about giving to you. You don't have to take my word, but 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 open up God's word for yourself. She gave shelter, and as a result of, of, of giving shelter, this is what you need to know. Not only did she receive shelter, but her entire family received shelter. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. God uses people, Mia. Yes, he does. He uses people to bless others, Mia. People. You, you, you've got to be careful, uh, Vanessa, how you treat people. Because whatever you don't want to receive, Vanessa, <laughs> don't give it. Somebody say amen. amen. I ain't talking to Vanessa. I'm talking to everybody in here. In the text, in the text, Jesus speaks uh, to his disciples. And he speaks to the multitude. It is a mixed group. The principle is... Uh, good for saints and sinners. Still talking about things you need to know, young people. The Bible says, let everything that have breath praise the Lord about giving. The point is, is that we owe God what, what, he, has, what he has done for us. We, we owe him rent for the roof <laughs> over our heads. We owe him for, for the heat we call the sun. We owe him for the air condition, the cold weather and the wind. I, I don't like this, but, but every now and then I use it. <laughs> Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. we owe him. Saying, my alarm clock won't be 
here this morning. Well, the alarm clock went off at Todd's funeral home this morning. And they're still there knocked out. Never to wake up again. We owe him. Huh? Woke you up this morning. Food on the table. Huh? Clothes on your back. We owe him for the activities of our land. We owe him, Brother Hackett. We owe him, Sister Gloria. Nice cars. Dressed to kill. Nice haircut. Serious hairstyle. Braids to the max. Toenails. Pit. Down. Tattoos below. Yeah. <laughs> 
mentally off the Richter scale. I, my mind.
get to do good and share what you have for such sacrifices are pleasing unto God. Harvest time is coming. You shall reap what you sow, young people, with the same standards you use. It will be used to pay you back. The harvest is coming. I've seen the lightning flashing. And I've heard the thunder roar. And I felt sin breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul. But there's a still small voice. Come to Macedonia today to hear this word. 